right into a home office here. Today we are going to figure out how you can have a good space to work in your home, a space that works for you. Please welcome Karen Seeley. <laughs> hey, Karen. Hey. So let's pretend this is my office. I walk out right into my chair or whoever's working here yes. and surprises them, which is, you know, not a great experience for the person in the chair. Probably not an ideal setting for a home office, right? No, it's not. And a lot of times we do that. We, we think, oh, I'll just, I'll just put it here and I can look out the window, which is really nice. Yeah. But nobody likes to have their back to the door, whether it's in an office environment, whether it's at home, because you don't want to be shocked. You know, maybe right. you're looking at sensitive material on your, maybe you're Christmas shopping. <laughs> and, and yeah, what do you mean you know, sensitive material? Sensitive there, material, yeah, like Christmas know. shopping. Yeah. And somebody walks in and sees what you're working on. So it is nice right. to be able to have your desk a different direction. Yeah, and who wants to be startled like that? It's not even, you know, that you're no. a gangster and you're running from the law. It's just you don't want someone to tap you on the back and you don't know they're coming. Yes. So, so we're going to be talking about all sorts of workspaces because not all of us have, a, a, you know, a room that's just in home office. So think about it this way, a place to do the homework, a place to pay some bills, just a place to get some general work done. And we'll show you different ways to do that that is not necessarily its own room, right? You, you, you've got it down. I, I mean, you are awesome because it is all about function. And we talk yeah. about this all the time. We say, you know, who's going to be using the space? Is it, are you paying bills? Are you doing crafts? Are you sewing? Mm -hmm. Because often our rooms, we may not have a room in our home we can dedicate to a home office. It might yeah. be the guest room slash office. It might be the workout room slash office. Yeah. So we have to think about all the things that are going to go on in the room first. So function first. And then once you figure that out, then you can d divide the space up. For example, you might say, geez, if it's a guest room and an office, maybe I need a Murphy bed. So I can yeah. fold the Murphy bed up. Because a lot of people say, oh, I'm going to dedicate a room in my home to a guest bedroom. And I'll, I'll say, well, how often do you have overnight guests? Twice a year. And meanwhile, they're working at their dining room table every day of the week or yeah. two days a week. And you know, meanwhile, they should be giving that real estate to themselves. And then yes, of course, we want to make our guests feel comfortable in our home. But you know, you need to make sure that you also are getting function out of your home as well. Good point. Yes. So how do we switch this up so we're not startling well, this poor person? Yes. And you know what I do like about this? I do like that we haven't placed the desk against the wall. So you don't have yeah. to. So in this situation, what I do like about this is you could be working away. You could turn around and grab stuff off the, you know, the workspace. Uh -huh. So, you know, you have great use of space here. This little wheelie wheels out. So you have another work surface you can file. But what we're going to do is we're going to make this more advantageous okay and we Move are going to turn it so some people might put the desk under the window and that's totally fine or if, for example maybe your window's too low you could turn your desk this way and then, now and now you can look out view. the window which is really nice now when somebody walks into the room there's actually a space here you might even have a space big enough to have like a little guest table where the kids can do crafts while you're working you know, or it might be a table for do some sewing, and then you have your desk. <sighs> and look at that. Now you're look looking at, at the window. Look at my new office workspace. They actually do say, though, that window is going to increase your productivity. It, absolutely. Right? Yep. So the plants, the window, being able to connect a little bit with nature, these are mm. all really good things in a workspace. And it is. And you need that to stay focused. And the other thing we need is to make sure we hide our clutter. And this doesn't right. mean taking all your clutter and throwing it in a box. This is, like, organized. Oh, um, right. Yes. So yes. that's why we have all these beautiful boxes. So all the boxes in the desk came from, from Staples. I and love our these. bookcases came from Ikea. Uh -huh. So the nice thing is you can label everything. So it's, you know, home bills, kids' homework, permission slips, all those things that you need. So you can fill up your baskets. You can move it. This might be a basket full of crafts for the kids, and you can put it down, and they make a mess, and they do, and then you can put it back. Right. So that everything has a home. Because if you don't have a home, then... It, it's going to end up everywhere, and that's when it, people end up with clutter. I find that that has been the best savior with the kids' toys, these baskets. Yes. I don't care what goes in what basket, just put them all in a basket. <laughs> and the whole thing ends up looking really neat. And you can clean it up really quickly, and the kids yeah, can clean up. for sure. Yeah. Now, let's talk about, um, you know, a, a non-traditional workspace. There are all different ways to do it. You're very good with small spaces. I love because, small spaces. Yeah, like in your homes, you open this up and, oh, my God, it's a refrigerator. Like there's <laughs> always some crazy nook and cranny yes. thing happening. What is the most, uh, the most sort of functions for a room you've tried to put into a home office, like a guest room, home office, oh, slash workout area? We have. We've done that. And, in fact, we've even done where it's like a, a day bed so that you can have a little TV in the room so people can go in. It's a bit of a den. Then you have yeah. a trundle so you can have two people sleep over. And then there's a desk that falls down from the wall, so it's a den slash office slash guest room. The only issue is you don't want a guest room if it's an office, if you have a lot of guests and you're using the office every day because yeah. then you'll be like, all right, time to go to work. <laughs> Why aren't they out of bed yet? Get out! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's welcome Karen Kane, our second Karen. Give her a big hand. Hey. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Good, thanks. I don't know who keeps booking.
Shocking all the parents in one day. It's so confusing. It's a Navy day, too. It's a Navy day, too. I didn't get that memo. So let's talk about home offices in your world. I mean, do you do a lot of work from home? Are you mostly going to the office? Well, I actually had my entire office in my home for 14 years. Oh, wow. So I dedicated almost my um, complete basement for home office. So I had staff coming and going. It was a bit crazy. But again, mm -hmm. it was all about keeping it organized and tons of storage. Yeah. So, and even, even today, so office is out of my house now, but you still have everyday bills. You still have, like my kids are 12 and 14, so they have homework, they need paper, they need supplies. And I'm a bit of a neat freak. I like everything <laughs> tucked away. <laughs> you designers so, tend to be that way. Yes. So it is, it's all about the storage. Now yeah. I'm finding, because the kids are older, they're, um, they're really mobile with their, um, with their, where they work. Yeah. So they've got laptops. All their homework is now done on laptops. Mm -hmm. They sit with the iPad. And so I'm finding that the desk in our kitchen isn't being used as much That's as it did, you know, even a few years ago. Yeah. They're all about sprawling out on the, on the, uh, the kitchen table. Or the sofa. Or the sofa. I was yeah. going to say the language. My, my son's posture is going to be pooched completely. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we'll talk a lot more about home offices a little bit later. But